Welcome to the next episode of Building This Pinball Machine here. So, as we said last time that we didn't get to, because it took so long to do the rest of it, we're going to put some Molex connectors on this and connect the pinscape to the fuse boards or to the Molex connector so there's some easy disconnects. And we're going to connect the power supply to the pinscape, put a connector there so that we can take it apart. And also, I got these... Uh, little buttons in that I got off eBay. I don't know. They're smaller than I thought they'd be, which is fine because it's what I was going for. It was pretty small. Anyway, they're RGB and my thought was to completely ruin this lockdown bar and drill out this center hole here and then mount the button in there for my fire button. Um, so I don't know if we can see this, but if we put this right on the edge, you can see that should be plenty of room because it'll be up a little higher. Um, hopefully it's in focus once the lockdown bar is on there, so that should be plenty of room. So I might try it, and worst that can happen is I'll have to buy a new $60 or $70 lockdown bar, but hey, thus are the brakes, right? So let's... See if we can do those, and we'll go from there. Yeah, my little caliper tool here was pretty handy for figuring that out. Well, I unfortunately do not have a 5 8 inch metal drill bit, so we will have to get one of those and do that later. So let's get to the wiring. Well, that took a lot longer than it needed to, but here we have the 12 volt. You can see there's two wires going to ground, two going to 12 volt, and all going into your really dark 12 volt section of the pinscape. Yep. And then we have our 12 volt power, 12 volt logic goes in there, and then two grounds. There's your power and your logic power. All right, so now I can completely disconnect. It's gonna take two hands because they're clipped pretty tight, but. Anyway, two, these two boards from each other so I can get this one out of the way and just work on this. Or vice versa if I need to take one of them out. So, all right, let's get started on the rest of it. All right, well that took all day. So, I got my little notes here of everything. Some little details on all these connectors of what goes where. I got them labeled for the inputs or outputs or whatever they are. Obviously, I scribbled out and changed everything. But basically, you got your RGB flashers. Go here, this 15 pin connector. Um, then we got some of our chime outputs for the bell and the chime. Going over here, so this three is for your three chimes. And then the bell in knocker, fans, uh, everything that goes in the back box is all going to this connector here. So what are these? These are for the LED buttons, um, your flippers, your magnesave, and your fire button. We'll go for those. All right, and this is your power, your 12 volt, these are your 5 volt powers going to your two separate sources. You come over here, these are all your button inputs. These three are for uh, the right side. So you got your flipper, magnet save, and launch ball button. These black ones here are going to the left side. So you got your flipper, magnet save, uh, start, extra ball, exit. and fire yes okay and then these ones are for your various other service buttons you know your coin door and your service credit volume plus volume minus and menu and then there's one currently unused but i'm sure we'll find something for it and then these there's 12 pins here these are for your contactors uh the shaker and the gear motor and these Four are four. 
Oh my goodness. Hell, I can't remember. I got it written down here somewhere. I won't bore you. Those are something important. These are for the undercab RGB. Actually, I think these are for the buttons. The launch ball, engage, or start, extra ball, and exit. That's what they are. The, the lights in them. All right, so you can see we got plenty of extra, we got some extra chime parts, some extra powers. And then this is for your plunger, plunger, your TV, various anode things that I may or may not use, may just wire them direct. So one thing to note, if you have the newer fuse board, it goes straight across, whereas this one goes in and out. So that's in and out in and out, in and out, in and out, versus these are all in and all out, or vice versa, it doesn't matter. So I gotta populate all the fuses and finish it up. Um, so don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna connect everything and turn it on and hope it doesn't explode. I'm gonna do this all unhooked and then plug in one thing at a time and debug as I go. So anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm going to end it right there because it is 7.30 or 6.30. I've been doing this since like 10.30 or 11. It's exhausting. So, anyway, let me know what you think. Let me know how bad I screwed it up. And keep it real. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.